Our company is focused on substituting petroleum for PET plastic waste in producing plasticizers. By doing this, we will be able to help save the planet and make a profit. My name is Natalia Rios, and I am here to tell you about our technological development, NMC390, that produces plasticizers from PET plastic waste. Let me first explain what a plasticizer is and does. Plasticizers are one of the main raw materials in the flexible PVC plastics industry. They are additives that give PVC flexibility, and they are used to produce a wide variety of products. These include pleather, cables, shoes, flooring, and many hospital supplies like IVs and saline solution bags, among others. They are also widely used in the automobile industry. The main problem that we are addressing is that currently plasticizers have volatile prices and are expensive since they are derived from the petrochemical industry. The current commodity plasticizer is DOP, which you can see in red. Today, it accounts for about 90% of the plasticizers produced and used worldwide. As you can also see in this graph, a better quality plasticizer already exists. DOTP is better quality, but it is not widely used today because when produced from petroleum, it is significantly more expensive than DOP. The market is very big. Current demand is 6 million tons per year in the world. A clear benefit of working with plasticizers is that the consumers for our product belong to many different industries, and this makes demand growth stable even through economic cycles. Competitors in the world are large and very strong players. You can see familiar names. However, since Latin America is a small pocket of demand, regional players dominate our main market. The space where we will initially go to market is Colombia. Currently, the internal demand for plasticizers is 1,500 tons per month at prices that fluctuate between $1,850 and $2,400 per ton. Our objective is to capture 5% of the market in four years by producing 80 tons per month. We will price our product 15% lower than DOP at any given time. Since these inputs are interchangeable in the production process, a lower price should capture demand. Our solution to the problem will be to produce the best commercial substitute available at a lower price. This will locate our product NMC390 in the bottom right hand corner of the graph. This is obviously the most desirable quadrant. We are able to do this because we produce DOTP from non-commercial PET plastic waste and not from petroleum. Let me quickly explain the difference between commercial PET plastic and non-commercial PET plastic waste. Commercial PET plastic waste is your traditional recyclable plastic. Think Coke bottles. Non-commercial PET plastic waste is plastic that is not currently recycled. Think Sprite bottles which are green or any plastic oil bottles which cannot be recycled right now. All of those bottles are ending up in landfills today. The beauty of our process is that we use non-commercial PET plastic waste. This is extremely cheap in countries like Colombia and in developed countries like the U.S. They often pay people to take non-commercial PET. This is why we are able to produce NMC390 at a much lower cost. We will attract customers by offering added values at a lower price. We will provide higher quality substitutes whose price is more independent from world oil prices. Additionally, our customers could access sustainability labels due to our environmentally friendly process. To give you an example, in June 2013, the price per ton of DOP in the U.S. was $2,491. We would have been able to offer NMC390 at $2,108. The key elements needed to run this business are strengths displayed by each of the members of our alliance. We have formed our alliance with CI Docolco, who is a commercializer and has existing channels of distribution. Additionally, we have been working with the International Center for Physics as our academic partner for the past decade. Our team is comprised of five members. I am currently a student at Harvard Business School and will be graduating in May. Additionally, Alexander who was who developed the technology and he is a chemical engineer. We have one more chemical engineer and two more mechanical engineers. The capital investment required is $700,000. For the last 10 years, we have conducted scientific research, scientific trials, and trials at scale. Now we are in a position to build our own pilot plant that will produce 80 tons per month, as mentioned before. We are looking to join Mass Challenge in order to increase our visibility in the U.S. and be able to gain access to financing. 
We were already awarded $150,000 by the Colombian Department of Science. Thank you for your time.